what please uh, make me a fly on the wall you and Vince Scully because I mean you you go back to the the days broadcasting get together here locally in Los Angeles correct Dick well and actually in a way he was my mentor when I was doing the angel games for Gene Autry's radio and TV station in Los Angeles from 1969 through uh, the late 70s Whenever I drove, uh, my home was in the San Fernando Valley when I drove down to Anaheim for a game, uh, who accompanied me. Uh, you know, the Dodgers were on the road, and it was usually Ben Scully calling a, a, an evening game uh, in the East. And so I was able to listen to the very best all the way to Anaheim. And he is the poet laureate of our profession in 67 uh, years. It's just incredible to think that uh, a man could extend his great career and always uh, w at such a high elite level. Um, and it's uh, in our little uh, podcast chat, and of course it could have gone on for five hours, yes. but uh, unfortunately Vin had other uh, engagements. <laughs> but one of the things I found interesting was that he grew up a do not a Dodger fan, but a Giants fan. Mm -hmm. He would go to the polo grounds and root for his favorite team, and his favorite player was Mel Ott. And so th did you talk broadcasting at all, swap notes of memories? I mean, uh, just to give me one more tidbit for uh... – Well, you know, it, it, I was just – you know, you, you're flying the wall. I, that's the way I felt as well, just to be able to hear him, uh, that mellifluous uh, tone of his. And, uh, and I did find out a, a little nugget that uh, maybe one of the reasons his voice is so uh, incredibly pleasing to all of us is – he was in the barbershop quartet at Fordham University. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that he might have gone, gone on and been a great singer? Bar baritone? What was he, Dick? Do we know which one he was? Oh, I'm sure court? a tenor, wouldn't you okay. think? <laughs> Irish tenor? Well, he's got to be. <laughs> Dick Enberg joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to move Week 6 games to Saturday for that wedding you have to go to.